Warning, this is just my opinion. Hello guys, it's me Shrubble Tree. And I'm back for a new video. I have some announcements to make. I'm going to become an actual Wimpy Kid YouTube channel. Yes. No more wrestling stuff like that. Just Wimpy Kid because these are the videos that give me the most view that give me the most views. Okay, so we're going to do the Wimpy Kid tier list today. And the tier list is uh, basically it's something from gaming. It it's it's a ranking of uh, stuff. Usually, uh, originally gaming characters, but then it became uh, anything you like, like food, uh, uh, characters uh, from other things not gaming related. Um, yeah, let's do the Wimpy Kid tier list. Now I've already made a Wimpy Kid tier list before. Uh, back in 2019 on Reddit, you probably you might have seen it before. Yeah, however, I'm going to do like a recreation, uh, like a in video form, basically. Uh, so let's begin with Wimpy Kid Book One. Book One is the original book. I like it, but I still put it in B tier because I didn't find it as interesting. Uh, the next one is Roderick Rules. Roderick Rules is S tier. Last Straw is A tier, Dog Days is S tier, Ugly Truth is B tier, and you might be wondering why Shurabuli Tree? Why would you put freaking. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry for saying the, that word. Uh, flipping uh, Last Straw at A tier, but Roderick Rules at S tier. R Roderick Rules is a classic. I just like it a lot. These are just my opinions. I'm not sure why the problem with Wimpy Kid with with this video is that I'm not really sure why. Okay, some of them I'm going to explain why I put them, but not all of them. Yeah, so Ugly Truth is B tier, Roderick Rules is S tier, and Dog Days is S tier too. Okay, now let's do Cabin Fever, which is S tier. It's probably my favorite one. Actually, Roderick Rules is my favorite. Um, now let's do Third Wheel. Now Third Wheel is very forgettable. I'm going to put it at C tier. C tier for you, Roderick. For you, the third wheel. Hard luck is pretty good. I liked it. I'm going to put it at A tier. And for and the worst Wimpy Kid book by far is The Long Haul. I hate it because it was basically like uh, Wimpy Heffley torture, basically. Like it was um, like they just like it didn't really feel like any other Wimpy Kid book. Like they put uh, Greg. No, like, it's, it doesn't even take place in the house or the school. It just takes place on a road trip. And the book covers, uh, it takes place in a very short amount of time. It, they, they definitely padded out the time for this one. And also, they keep getting into bad situations. It just makes you feel bad for the Heffleys. Not even Greg. Like, Greg, Greg is, like, kind of a, he's not really a very nice person. But his, like, Roderick, he isn't really that bad. He's, he is an, an angel or something, but he's not that bad. Okay, let's put old school at C. Double down at B. Yes, I like double down. Deal with it. I liked it. I thought it was a pretty good book. I liked it when it came out, and I thought that old school was, was worse and more forgettable. Now, the C tier can basically be called the forgettable tier. Uh, the getaway. Getaway was pretty bad. It was pretty much a ripoff of... of of uh, the long haul, basically, it was a ripoff. Even though it's made by the same person, it's basically much a uh, rehash. It's a rehash, actually. It's not a ripoff. And yeah, like it's horrible. I did not like it at all. Uh, the meltdown. The meltdown is B tier. I liked it. It. I thought it was pretty good. Now, wrecking ball. Wrecking ball is also pretty good. I put it at B tier. And this is going to be pretty shocking, but I actually kind of like the deep end. They, it didn't seem like such a heavily torture moment. Uh, so yeah, these are my rankings. You can see that in S tier we have Roderick Rules, Dark Days, and Cabin Fever. In A tier we have The Last Draw, Hard Luck. In B tier we have The Original, The Ugly Truth, Double Down, The Meltdown, Wrecking Ball, Deep End. In C tier we have The Third Wheel, Old School. And in D tier we have The Long Haul and The Getaway. Yeah... No books in F tier though. However, if he had the movies, I'll put the original three movies in like B tier 
and the long haul movie in F tier. I also put a do it your self book in S tier. The when Peak hit the uh, movie diaries in A tier, and I will also put uh, uh, I will also basically, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, the online book, I'll put the online book at S tier, and it's my favorite one. I love the online book so much. Yeah, this is pretty much my first video on this new, newly rebranded channel. It's now Olympic Hit channel. Yeah, drop a like and subscribe.